Salutations, everyone. This is Razor here bringing you some money in the dank, whatever the fuck that means, on uh, Jungle. Uh, I had a subscriber request that I, I play this game mode, and it, I, uh, it took me a while to figure out what the hell this was. Um, I saw Woody's Gamer Tag and uh, another uh, another YouTuber make a video that had money in, in the dank in the title. And I didn't know what the hell that was. I thought it was some game mode that was going to be in Black Ops 2 because it sounded like it was a game mode. And so I was like, I don't know what the hell this is. And eventually I went around, I watched uh, Woody's video on uh, on Money in the Dank and how it's stupid. And so I saw I watched that. So I, I knew what I was getting myself into. For those of you who don't know, it's this brand new game mode that they put in Modern Warfare 3 hella randomly and for no reason. Like, this... Is this is just so silly? I don't get it. Um, it's it's just sabotage. That's all it is. It's sabotage, except when you uh, when you have the bomb, you come you become the juggernaut and you get a desert eagle. That's it. That's 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 the only difference. <laughs> As if sabotage wasn't a shitty enough game mode, they decided to throw in some uh, automatic juggernaut in there for goodness knows what reason. Who know, who knows why they made this this game type? It, it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense, and the and the other difference being is that you uh you have preset classes to choose from. You got four classes: um, pension egg with rapid fire, MP5 with rapid fire, the M4 with the red dot, which is what I'm using because why else would you use anything other than that? The model 1887 with range, and the L18. Uh, I don't even know if it has an attachment, but and they all give you slide of hand, hard line, and and steady aim. It's just that's just so stupid. It's it's so dumb. I don't understand wh why they made this this game mode. Okay, you know people want to be juggernauts, so I can understand uh, you know why they might find that this uh, game type will find a crowd. But why did they put in the custom? Why did they put in the 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 classes that you have to choose from? Whose idea was that? That's that's just that's completely random and just stupid. It really really stupid decision. It has nothing to do with the game mode at all it has it gives it nothing uh, it offers nothing to it you know I mean maybe they didn't want it to be sabotage with a juggernaut and they want to be sabotage with a juggernaut and they felt like oh well, if we give them preset classes that'll be different enough to justify it being a new game type I just I don't understand it and with a juggernaut having nothing but a desert eagle they're really easy to kill um, and, and there, there's no reason to, to not use the M4 class because Pension egg with rapid fire. I mean, as, ever since the patch, rapid fire and LMG makes no sense whatsoever. Just makes no sense. And why the pension egg? And why why they give us the worst shotgun in the game, the model 1887, and put on range? Like that's gonna help. Um, and they also give you some uh, with the MP5 class. They give you a hit an uh, MP412 uh, secondary. And uh, with the M4, they give you a Kimbo Scorpions. With the L118, they give you a Kimbo uh, Glocks. And uh, what's the with the with the models, they give you an MP9 uh, extended mags, I think. And it, it's just it's just really it's just really lame. It's really dumb. Um, here I am in the Juggernaut suit uh, with my Deagle, which you know I do a fair enough job with. I have plenty of practice with the Eagle. I got almost a thousand kills with the damn thing. So uh, I have no problem with it with the Desert Eagle being the the gun that they give you. And I realized that they don't want to give you uh, such a huge advantage by like, like giving you a light machine gun or an assault rifle or submachine gun or anything. But they still don't want to leave you unarmed. So they give you a pistol, but not just any pistol. They give you a, a one of the harder to use pistols in the game so that's that was that was at least an understandable choice they didn't want the juggernaut to be all powerful and but you know everyone like likes to try to get to be the juggernaut so they could i don't know try to get moabs or whatever which uh, i've i don't think anyone's ever come close to doing and the, the juggernauts are just really easy to kill because uh i i put in a clip with the m4 uh, switch to my kimbo scorpions and just spray them down you know uh, if they're inaccurate with their Desert Eagle, which almost everyone's going to be because it has a lot of high recoil and not everyone knows how to use it, uh, you know, not everyone has practice with it, yeah, all they have to do is miss those shots and without sleight of hand, uh, for some reason they don't give the Jug sleight of hand, um, the Jug becomes really easy to kill because, you know, if he doesn't kill you with that first clip, uh, you can take him out easily and here I am trying to wipe out everyone and defuse that bomb, but... 
lag and you know whatever it didn't really matter i wasn't getting angry at this game because i, I knew it was just going to be silly and uh you know i don't really play Modern Warfare 3 that much anyway to really care and and everyone just uses the m4 class and there's no reason not to uh pension with rapid fire you know it's usable you know it's not it's not a terrible gun but uh the m4 is better you know and uh, everyone gets the same specialist streaks you get you know scavenger quick draw stalker and what's the point of giving us the bolt action sniper rifle with the L118A if you don't give us quick draw? That's just that's stupid. I don't I don't get that. Why why does the the sniper rifle have to have hard line on it as well? I don't I don't understand that at all. This this game would have had a redeeming quality of me being able to kill a ton of juggernauts if they just would have let me use whatever class I want. Because uh, I could put on the the RSAS, aka the jug killing machine. And uh, I can have some fun with that by just killing the Jug uh, as many times as I want throughout the game and you know, make a montage out of just killing Juggernauts. You know, at least that would have had some redeeming quality to it, but, uh, but with these preset classes, it's just really silly and random. And, you know, making it Sabotage is really odd decision because Sabotage is it's a, just a terrible game type. It's really bad. I'm sorry if you're a fan. It is just my opinion, but I, I, I think it's a really bad game mode and I don't understand why... Uh, they chose to, to, to screw with Sabotage, because, you know, it was, it was bad enough already, but throwing a Juggernaut in there uh, as the bomb carry isn't going to make it any more exciting or uh, fun to play. And, and the, the spawns in Sabotage are just uh, terrible, I assume, because I don't play Sabotage, I because it's just a, a bad game mode and I don't have fun playing with it, so I don't know how terrible the spawns are in Sabo, but the, the, the spawns in Money in the Dank are really bad you know uh, the, the juggernaut is your teammates don't spawn anywhere really near you and the enemy teams always spawns near you and since you're a juggernaut you're always going to be on the UAV now when the bomb carrier is permanently on the UAV what's going to happen you're not going to get very many bombs uh, to plant now are you because the enemy team is always going to know where you are and you're pretty much defenseless at long range with this super uh, high recoil uh, pistol that can't kill in long range because, you know, the Modern Warfare 3 just hates... I mean, I, well, Call of Duty just really hates pistols at long range for some reason. They, they nerf it at long range to make it pretty much unusable. So, you know, if they're using an M4, you know, which has, you know, little to no recoil or, you know, even a pension egg, you'll get taken out at long range because there's nothing but that Juggernaut suit to protect you. Uh, it it might have been more interesting if they just would have... Uh, giving you a riot shield and a desert eagle I don't know maybe that would have been worse but it doesn't really matter because this is just a bad game mode and I knew that going in Woody uh, pretty much said everything so I really don't need to reiterate what Woody's gamertag said because all it is is people uh, you know try to camp trying to with the juggernaut you know get all the specialist perks and get on big streaks and whatever uh, very few people uh, trying to play the objective and uh, and Plant, plant the bomb and, and blow it up and it's always going to end up in uh, overtime and I'd be surprised if there was ever a, a game uh, unless it was like a full team playing together where it didn't immediately go to overtime because this is it's just it's just silly it makes it makes no sense that they made this game type uh, the jugs are easy to kill I mean just watch me spray this guy down would have gotten with my scorpions here but I was like one or two shots away but he runs up a command to nice me which Eh, what's whatever. It's Modern Warfare 3. And just look at the kill feed. Everyone's using the M4. Uh, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage if you don't. Um, you might see someone use an MP5 if this was on a different map. But why, why the MP5? And, you know, rapid fire, like, that's really going to help. Uh, the, the M4 is, is really going to rule everything in, the, in this game. You might see someone use a pension egg, but no one will use that model. Because the model sucks anyway, and... Like, range is going to help. I mean, at least give the damn thing damage. I don't know who decided to put range. Obviously, some, some idiot who doesn't play the game. A.K.A. every employee at Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer. I mean, that's the only explanation for these classes. These is, This game is made by people who don't play their own damn game. That's They've made that obvious throughout the entirety of this game's lifetime. And this game, just a, another spotlight on that fact. But, you know, it's just... You know, killing the jug back and forth, grabbing the jug, getting killed as the jug, uh, trying to plant the bomb, uh, not succeeding, barely planting the bomb and getting immediately diffused. You know, that that's just that's just basically what it comes down to. It's just a silly game mode that you're gonna see a lot of people flock to.
because it's it's dumb and people really love dumb game modes. I mean, just look at Infected. People, uh, uh, Infected game mode is is still completely outshining this Money in the Dank, even though it's new and stupid. Um, get a kill with the frag grenade there, which I'm not used to because I haven't used the frag since uh, I unlocked the C4. So that was almost a year ago. Take out my headshot machine, uh, dual scorpions out there, and uh, uh, take out that fool. Pick up this pension egg, just do something different. Kill this dude. And, uh, you know, I it's, it's just not a fun game mode. It's really silly, it's really dumb, especially with this whole, you have to pick all these preset classes, and then everyone picks the same one, which is really dumb. The M4 is not even a fun gun to use, uh, in all honesty. It's really run-of-the-mill, um, you know, very low recoil, very easy to use, just not fun. And uh, here I get taken out here, the final kill cam makes me look like a bitch. Uh, but, you know, we just go to overtime because that's that's where every single one is going to go to it, overtime. I mean, Sabotage is a dumb enough game mode as it is. And uh, for those of you who know, Sabo overtime has no respawn, so, you know, it, it's pretty simple. And one of the things that Woody's Gamertag got wrong in his video, he said that in overtime, whoever gets the jug, uh, that team's going to win. That's not the case at all. You want to stay away from the jug, because as you can see right here, I'm going to try to pick people off as they run to the bomb, and uh, you know, see me get hit markers on a kid right here as he grabs the bomb, but that's really not something not to worry about. All I have to do is kill his teammate, which is what I'm doing right here, get the assist, and uh, you, just, you just stay away from the juggernaut, because uh, he can't win the game unless he plants that bomb and uh, blows up the site and once he plants it he's no longer the juggernaut it's an easy kill and then you get the defuse so all you have to do is kill the enemy teammates wait for someone to grab the jug you could either all attack him at once which, which is what my team did here because uh, I was able to uh, wipe out the remainder of the enemy team and we were able to surround the jug and if not we could just all run away from the jug because he can't catch us because he's the juggernaut wait for him to uh, plant the bomb and we can kill him and defuse it because he's no longer the jug at that point or we could just, uh, just run away from him, Benny Hill style, and uh, wait for the game to end and uh, have it be a tie or whatever. Uh, so that's it. Final score, 52 and 17, whatever. It's not impressive. It's not a fun game to play. Just thought I'd give you guys my thoughts because uh, some, someone wanted to hear it, and maybe you did too. So hope you enjoyed the video. Comments, uh, always appreciated, and I'll see you guys next time.